welcome back to the teacher vlogs. Hey guys, Dopio Espresso. I'm embarrassed to admit. You're ordering a latte at that uh -huh. point. Did you read a book this morning? Uh. Oh. This is my first reaction coming in. Cute. Oh my goodness. My room looks so different because of the desks. These desks are for state testing. I remember my computer password. I was nervous that I wouldn't. Okay, good morning you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. Welcome back to the teacher vlogs. Um, I'm back from maternity leave today. Today is Wednesday, May 10th and yeah, it feels super weird to be back but I'm in a really, really good mood. I'm in a very, ex okay, lower my chair a little bit. Hello, if you guys are new here, my name is Kathy. I am a third year, fifth grade teacher, also a mom of two now. And today is my first day back after three months of maternity leave. Actually, not even three months, close to three months, like 11 weeks. Yeah, today's my first day back and it's Wednesday, May 10th. So it's kind of nice because I'm starting mid week back instead of like a full week, which is good for me. That was my initial reaction walking into my room this morning, it felt so strange, but also so comforting in a way, knowing that I'm back in like my second home. Students are state testing now, so like desks are different. The room looks a little bit different. Um, I think I might pick it up and just make it my space again a little bit. My maternity sub, who is usually my classroom aide, he's in here all the time. He actually took over my classroom for the last three months and so he tried to keep everything pretty much the same like routine wise, um, using my slides, like every little detail that I was doing in my classroom he was trying to implement too so that is really really nice getting back in because my students still know what to expect from me but yeah i'm just like i'm kind of nervous right now walking in and driving in i was just thinking like okay what do i want to do what do i want to say um but i'm just gonna take it slow this morning so brandon was so nice he got a starbucks for me this morning on his way home he's been working 6 p.m to 6 a.m so on his way home he got me a starbucks i am so proud of myself this morning if you guys know me then you know i am always frantic in the morning i never have any time and i'm always very last minute but this morning i woke up at 5:45. And I'm very proud of that. I prepped everything beforehand last night, like my pump stuff, my lunch, the girls things, um, my outfit, everything that I needed to prep the night before that I could, I did. And then this morning before the girls woke up, I got ready, I got my coffee ready. I took things out to the car so I wouldn't be like trying to do too much at once in the morning. So 
I really love that routine. I was actually inspired by Emma Jens here on Instagram and YouTube or here on YouTube and Instagram. Um, she put out a morning routine where she wakes up at like 5 30 and just has like an hour to herself and i kind of did the same thing i gave myself like 45 minutes by myself um and that was so 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 nice and i just love that it's so important as a mom and a working mom especially to take that time for yourself in the morning so that you can collect yourself so that you can get your things ready so you're not frantic because sorry someone's coming in um but like I was saying, it's so important to have like that balance as a working mom to just give that time for yourself. I think that's what I was saying. Anyways, it's 7.45 now. I have about 15 minutes until students come in. I'm going to pick up in here a little bit, just to make my desk my space now and get my slides ready, get the music going, just kind of get back into the swing of things. So I'll go ahead and just stop talking. Welcome back if you guys have been here for a while and if you're new, well, welcome to my channel. It's gonna be a fun little week in my life. It is now lunchtime. I am all settled in now. Um, I have my pump session this morning. As you guys saw, I just go into an office, which is nice. So I, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but the students are state testing from 9 a.m. until 11.30. My sub or my aide um, is still in here. He's kind of like helping me do things since he's been in here like for the last two months. So he kind of started the state testing stuff and I was just kind of administering since I haven't had training on it yet, but yeah very similar to what we did in missouri where like students are on their laptop they're quiet you guys know the deal if you do state testing too everything's been going well so far um it's nice like having time carved out to go pump and stuff and then while the kids were testing i just washed my pump parts in the sink yeah today is a minimum day so the rest of the day i just told the students like we're gonna hang out and just relax since they did some testing today's lunch is buffalo chicken wrap i made buffalo chicken dip last night for dinner and then i'm just gonna put it in a wrap with some onions i was so hungry this morning my stomach was just growling and then i have one of these jobani drinks i love these these are amazing i get them from target my room just doesn't feel like my room yet like while the students were testing i was trying to pick it up and like throw a bunch of things away i remember whenever i was pregnant with indy during my leave i remember i just had to recycle a ton of stuff so i've kind of been trying to pick up a little bit because i just want it to be my space again which i know it's not going to happen within a day yeah it's amazing to be back i feel like everyone has welcomed me back and my kids are so excited it's just really nice i feel less I feel less overwhelmed this time around just because I feel like I have a game plan going, I have a pumping system going, um, and everyone was in good hands so that makes me feel a lot better. I'm gonna go have lunch with my third through fifth grade team. I'm so excited to see them. Yeah, that's all the updates for now. I'm glad I came in on a Wednesday during state testing because it helped me just like ease back in instead of like jumping into everything. Like we're still doing a lot of state testing prep so I think what my sub has been doing is he reviews some questions with them um, on days where they're not testing. So I think we'll start into that tomorrow, but right now I'm just gonna go have lunch and then I'm gonna do a pump session right after lunch. Um, so let me grab my pump stuff. I keep all of my pumps up in here. Like I said, I already washed my dishes. I got them ready. This is the fit. I always wear my Birkenstock sandals just because those are my go-to. So it is the end of the day. I, um, like I said, today is a minimum day. So we get out at 1.15 and we basically always have something afterwards that we do. Sometimes there's like teacher directed PDs, but today we had our lighthouse meetings. If you're a leader in me school, then you know what that is. Basically we are just assigned different things around the school. So like our action team meeting or our lighthouse team um, is in charge of like different events at our school. So we just had a quick meeting about um, the end of the year parties and stuff. I'm gonna sit you guys down um, and do a little recap of the day. Today was a very good day, much better than I expected. And like I said, you guys, I just feel like so excited to be back. I don't wanna say that too early on because today I'm really excited and I know like I miss my girls. I think about them, I watch videos of them during my pump break and stuff, but I do feel like this is just what I like being a working mom. And so it just excites me to be back in and doing what I love. And just the welcome back at the school and the community, it just feels really good. And so I feel really happy and just 
fulfilled today. We ended our meeting pretty early. Um, I'm gonna get some stuff knocked out since I haven't been here for two months. I still don't really know like what to do. I still need to plan with my team teacher and just talk about things, but it's the end of the year, so there's not really like a lot of pressure to get every single thing done. Our school does a before like school program and an after school program. And so those students are in my room currently. Um, they're outside right now, but they're in here for like the rest of the day until 5 p.m. or when their parents come pick them up and they just do like different activities. So my room is a little messy. Um, and it's just been messy, like I said. I just, I feel overwhelmed. Like I want my space back um, and just like things to be where I want them to be. So I might spend some time doing that and just spend some time catching up on things. I don't really know where to start. That's the truth of it is like when you're on maternity leave, you, you come back and like you kind of feel just unprepared. Like I don't know what to do. Like I'm lucky today my sub was in here with me today. surprised my plant is still alive so somebody's been taking care of it thank you to whoever that is um they're still doing like eye ready stuff a lot of what i was doing before my sub is also doing so like this um eye ready stuff I also forgot to say happy teacher appreciation week. I feel like since I haven't been back, I haven't been like in the loop and stuff, but if you're an educator or you even work in like anything education related, happy teacher appreciation week. Teachers do a lot, educators do a lot, um, and you guys are so appreciated. I hope this week you feel extra, extra special. You should feel special every day, but this week I hope it's extra special. Today our school did a little potluck, so that was really nice. I feel uber full we ate so much food but that was a really nice surprise and i think tomorrow they're catering breakfast for us so um out of focus i think tomorrow they're catering breakfast for us so that'll be really fun but yeah um i've just been cleaning i wanted to go to the gym today i don't know if i'm in the mood like i think today maybe i'll take it slow or maybe i need to like let off some energy some steam We'll see. Moms out there, are you guys really good at giving your babies baths? Because I'm really bad at it. I should be giving one like every other day, but it's like maybe a few times a week, maybe a couple times a week for both of them. So let me know how you guys do it. I have tried to put them in at the same time and that actually works okay. Indy's a more complicated one and Ollie's actually the one that's more chill, which I thought was gonna be the complete opposite. I don't know. I started like going into the bathtub with Indy, but now that they're both going to be in there, I think I'm just gonna have to fight her for it because I just can't be in there with her all the time. Especially like at our new house, um, there's no bathtub. So it'll have to be like a sink bath. Remember that feeling I was talking about when it's toasty in your car? It's the best feeling ever. Very proud of myself, but it's 3.15. I'm leaving right on the dot, mainly because I had time to actually like do what I wanted to do since we had a minimum day. Um, otherwise, I probably would have stayed a little bit just to like see what I could prep. But my team teacher wasn't done with her meeting yet anyway, so I couldn't really talk to her. I'm actually going home to pick up Brandon. I live very, very close to my school. So I'm going home to pick him up. We're gonna go to the gym actually together. Then we're gonna go pick up the girls together. I remember talking a little bit about being a working mom, balancing different things. Like I said, I don't take work home. I leave when I can, like right on, right at contract time at 3.15, get to where I need to go, um, do my workout. It doesn't even have to be like a one hour workout. I do like 30, 30 minutes to 45 minutes, call it a day, go get the girls, start dinner, hang out with the girls. Um, and it can be as simple as that, but it's whatever you prioritize. And remember, every family is different, you're different. And so it just depends on what you put 
up in your priority list. For me, it's my health, it's um, getting that time alone and making myself feel better. Um, and that could look different for you. It could be that you really wanna be with your kids right away and I definitely want to be with my kids. I just am prioritizing me so that I can come home and just be a really good mom. I leave work at a good place where I don't feel overwhelmed about tomorrow, but I also don't feel like I'm over prepared or anything. So it's just all about balance and finding that. And I just practicing it, seeing what works best for you um, is my biggest tip. That's good. Okay, let's go get Brandon. Yes, is he crying? Yakka leans right in and steals the snack. Oh, Yakka steals Monkey's lunch. Okay. okay. Good morning, happy Thursday. It is a tired morning, but I'm still in good spirits today. Um, my adrenaline has definitely gone down a little bit. I woke up at, well, my alarm is set at like 5.40, but I snoozed until six because I think just the energy and all the work that I did yesterday just got to me this morning. Like I'm almost done with my Starbucks drink. I wanna share what I get now. Last vlog, I talked about how I was obsessed with the, with the brown sugar shake and espresso, but I haven't gotten that in a while because I found like a new drink that's so much cheaper and it works, you know? So I do the iced Dopio espresso. Um, thank you, Kate, I think her name is. I might be getting that wrong let me double check she told me to get this drink and i haven't gone back since i've made a few adjustments though so i get the ice dopio espresso blonde um two pumps of vanilla two pumps of brown sugar and then an extra splash of oat milk i could also do without the two pumps of vanilla like i just like the brown sugar too but today brandon got my coffee again like i said he gets off at 6 a.m so he like passes a Starbucks, so he asked me this morning if I wanted one, and obviously I can't turn that down. I am about to go in and start my day. It's gonna be another just relaxed day, hanging out with my kids, just kind of getting used to things, but we will do a little bit of curriculum today. Not curriculum, but we will do a little bit of like um, test prep, and I wanna do some Mother's Day cards. Um, and just things like that just kind of taking it slow gradually easing back into things. It's time to head in I'll see you guys in there classroom now and like I was telling you guys there's like an after school program that comes into my classroom and I feel like I just spent the first five minutes coming in just picking up and you guys know how particular I am about like my classroom and like how I want it clean like I spent yesterday in doing that I feel like let me know if you guys are the same way like I want my space to be clean and just picked up like I do maybe a little too much but that's just how I like it anywhere you go you have to leave the space the way it was or even cleaner. I just got an email. It says, I hope you all are enjoying a wonderful week of celebration, but it isn't over yet. This morning we planned a breakfast for all teachers. Breakfast will begin at eight o'clock. Admin and classified staff are providing coverage from eight o'clock to 8.20 so that you can enjoy breakfast in the library, which that is so nice. Um, I love that. I'm excited. We're gonna have breakfast this morning. I kind of knew that we would have breakfast. Someone told me yesterday, but yeah, that's exciting. I'm just getting my morning slides up. As always, I always use Very Sweet Elementary, her slides. I think this is her summer slide. So I'm gonna get on some music and let's get this day started, you guys. I hope you guys are having a good morning. Oh, that's my music from this morning. I just look up classroom playlist, classroom songs, and this one is the one we're listening to this morning. It's called Classroom Playlist Hit Songs for School, and I just play random ones, put it on shuffle, and yeah. Top top, or like this button 
This button down crop top is Rehoa's. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll link it down below for you guys, but it's really cute, soft, um, and it buttons. It's kind of cropped with a collar and my Abercrombie jeans. They're the straight jeans from Abercrombie. I just got them. I think they're so comfy. Yeah, let's go get breakfast. It's the end of the day. I feel like I'm in this spot every time I talk to you guys, so it probably looks like I'm just sitting here all day. But today has been a very busy day just with everything. Um, today we actually had some um, people come in and teach like a nature, sorry, not a nature lesson. Some people come in. Sorry, that is dismissal. The end of the day today, I was pumping and um, there was people coming in for our nutrition class and they actually come in and they show our students the garden, the school garden, they let them try fruits. So today we tried kumquat, which was really good. I've never had it before. There's like strawberries in our garden and it just gets them familiar with healthy eating and just learning the benefits of healthy eating and what options they have. They got a cookbook today as well, which is pretty cool. Been a busy day and then we did a little bit of math test prep, looking at keywords, figuring out what the question is asking, looking at charts, things like that. But it's just felt like a very busy day. So, I don't even know where I left off. <sighs> Guys, I'm embarrassed to admit. Not really embarrassed because I don't feel like it's my fault. But I've just been so stinky. Like, I don't know if it's a postpartum thing. And I've heard postpartum and during pregnancy, like, you have more of a smell and it's more potent. Because when your baby's breastfeeding, it kind of helps guide them to feed. But... I don't know I just feel like I get really sweaty during the day and I don't know if I have I don't have a very good deodorant I guess or what but if you have any suggestions let me know or if you know what I'm talking about if you're postpartum and you're breastfeeding or if you're just postpartum if it's a thing or maybe it's just like anxiety sweats I have no idea I just feel like I'm I'm not smelling great. Brandon and I are gonna go on a hike today right after I get off, so very, very soon. Um, we're gonna go on a hike instead of going to the gym because it's such a nice day out. And I wanted to talk about this because I feel like sometimes on the vlogs, it looks like everything is like put together and stuff. And I try to show the real parts, but usually like when, when I'm on camera, I'm not like, the hard parts aren't I'm not showing on camera so it's hard to like bring them back up but i've been struggling with just like trying to balance time with brandon and that quality time my like love language is quality time so i've been trying to incorporate quality time with him and also making sure that the girls are taken care of at the end of the night since he's gone for dinner i'm you know putting them to bed i'm getting dinner ready i'm cleaning up i'm getting stuff ready for tomorrow and it's just like a lot of little pieces that go into the end of the day and it's really stressful at the end of the day but once the girls go to sleep it's like I can finally relax and like clean up and get what I need done but before that it's just like go 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 and it's hard for me to like say hey let's make time together so that's what we're gonna do since he's on weird shifts right now we're gonna go after school and just like go on a little hike and take that time for each other because I feel like we haven't prioritized each other. We've been prioritizing like the girls and like me going back to work and things like that. I've so been struggling with that a little bit and just feeling like happy about it all because in the midst of it all, you're not like, you're still worrying about other little things. Like, especially for me, I'm just like kind of stressed out about everything. So I don't feel as relaxed as I should when it is time for quality time, if that makes sense. Enough of that spiel. I am about to print off some coloring sheets for tomorrow tomorrow they have state testing from 9 to 11 30 so i just looked up some free like test motivation coloring pages um i'm just gonna print some off so they can color in the morning when they get here and actually i might just print off like normal ones that they'll like too trendy coloring pages i google everything I just found this page it's called skip to my Lou. Dot org um but it actually came with like a bunch of little ones i, I clicked the cool coloring pages hi any food items this morning no thank you what's your um can i do a venti triple shot blonde espresso with three pumps venti of brown shot. oh yeah three pumps brown sugar yes please um did i say blonde espresso too blonde yes um and then just an extra splash of oat milk and some cinnamon on top good morning you guys i don't know why every time i say my order 
I have to think about it so hard. It's like I have to focus on what I'm saying because there's so many pieces. I'm just not used to it and I never ever get a venti, but today I'm feeling a venti and Brandon has been getting my coffee the past couple of days as you guys know. And there's just something different about enjoying your coffee when you get it and you can drink it like right away. And I feel like that order was just kind of confusing. I was saying an extra splash of oat milk and then she put just half. Um, well, at first she put only a fourth of oat milk and then she put half, so hopefully they know that it's an extra splash, but whatever. Today is Friday. Yeah, happy Friday, you guys. I'm so excited that it's Friday. This morning, I feel like I got hit by a train. Like, I woke up, or my alarm goes off at 5.40, like usual. I snoozed until 6, and then I think I tried to snooze until, I tried to snooze five more minutes, and then I fell asleep trying to snooze because I woke up at like 6.07 and I was like oh crap first off happy that I woke up on time but also I woke up like kind of flustered but that's okay because we're getting a venti coffee and Pomodo keeps doing that we're getting a venti coffee this morning it's state testing day so hopefully it's just going to be a chill day it's also fun friday today for my kids i still have to have conversations with some of my students about when i was gone i just feel like i haven't been able to catch up and actually like talk to some of my students one-on-one -on -one like i wanted to pro tip but not really try to chug some water before you drink your coffee i feel like your day just goes so much better like you're more clear-minded and you don't feel dehydrated like i hate drinking water when i'm not thirsty but i just did it because i know i'm gonna feel better doing it um i do have my evaluation later today and basically at our school an evaluation is um, kind of going over kind of going over with the principal and our curriculum director We kind of go over how we did over the past school year like our weaknesses our strengths and Kind of talking about placement for next year. Like do you feel comfortable in your grade? Um, but basically they kind of tell you your overall performance and just talk about things I guess so um, I'll update you guys on how that goes. Um, I was gone for two months So we'll see how the conversation goes but yeah, that's pretty much our day today. It's so hard leaving them in the morning, especially whenever Indy's like really clingy to me. She's definitely a mommy's girl right now she is. And she just does not like whenever I leave. So she's like hugging me and just really sad. But I try to make it short and sweet. Give her a hug, tell her I love her, give her extra kisses and stuff. But then I have to go or else it makes it worse on them. But yeah, they're still doing good at daycare and everything. Um, I desperately need coffee but yeah Andrea or I think I'm saying that right hopefully Andrea thank you so much for the gift card I appreciate it so much and it literally made like my whole week yeah it literally made my whole week so thank you so much for the gift card I'm gonna use it right now um, Andrea has been watching my videos for a while and she always comments on my videos and she's just so beautiful and such a sweet person um, she gave me a $10 gift card for Starbucks because she just knows how much I love Starbucks Hello. Uh, you're talking to okay, and so here's the gift card. Thank you. Okay, you awesome. Thank. You. Do you know if this is the extra splash of oat milk? Splash of oat milk. The extra splash. Um, I, I think it's only half. Okay. I said extra splash, but it looks like there's only half in there. Hi. You're ordering a latte at that uh -huh. point, so we would okay. have to charge you that way if okay. you want the whole thing filled up with oat. Milk. Gotcha. So the extra splash is only for a grande, basically. Yeah. Or and like extra splashes are little over a half an inch okay. to us. Okay, sounds good. Um, if next time you just want to order like a triple latte with the three puns, probably easier triple to order latte. that way. Okay, sounds good. Okay, thank you so- that. No, that's okay, thank you. Okay, good to know. Room. I can tell the students from the after school program really tried to make sure they picked up. I did leave a note on the board just saying like please leave the classroom the way you found it. Um, so it's looking a lot better. I can tell they put like the pillows back this time um, and just put things back in their place. So I'm very happy with how it looks in here. I don't have to spend time you know um, trying to pick up this morning. I do need to pick some coloring sheets off the printer. I forgot to do that yesterday. Okay, it's 
still don't know how I don't know my computer password. Okay, quick outfit of the day. Um, this blouse is thrifted. I think I got it from Goodwill. I like it. It's just a little bit different, but it's definitely up my alley. Um, and then my jeans. These jeans are so cute. Let me get you guys in the mirror. I feel like you can see better. Um, these jeans are thrifted. I got these from Plato's, I think, a consignment shop. Um, but they're so cute. These jeans are from Zara and they're like a wide leg. I think they fit so well and they're such a cool fit outfit of the day it is now my lunch time the kids just got done with state testing like five minutes ago i dropped them off at lunch um it's like the longest couple of hours in the morning so it has to be long for our students state testing just really sucks and especially like after one whole week of doing it. i mean they have days off but after one whole week i think the kids just start to get like over it i mean all we can do is you know help them feel confident and just tell them to try their best but i know it's just daunting it's also very repetitive and no one likes to sit there for a few hours i am about to go heat up my lunch and then i have my evaluation so i'm gonna try to eat lunch pretty quickly and then i'm gonna pump after but today i brought these noodles that are from trader joe's they're like the whole wheat noodles um I brought my rotisserie chicken. I get it from the store and I just peel it myself. I was really lazy, so it's in chunks. I'm just gonna throw that in. And then, this is also Trader Joe's. It's the Thai style red curry. It's focusing on my face and not, okay. I'm gonna pour this in and then microwave it. I feel like this is not gonna microwave very well because I'm throwing it all in, but here goes nothing. Every day I keep forgetting to bring my milk that I pump home. I did that last year with Indy. I just kept forgetting to bring it home. So I need to bring it home today or else it's gonna basically be bad. A bunch of milk bags are just sitting in my classroom fridge right now. I'm gonna get mindfulness ready for whoever's gonna be in my classroom today. Oh, and later on, um, since we missed PE today, we get PE later on. So I actually have a prep time with my team teacher finally. That's gonna be nice. I, I feel like I'm just trying to figure out what I need to do next week. I know what to do for ELA. I just don't really know what I'm doing in math or- Power of Jolly Ranchers, you guys. I just see my students cleaning up. I see them doing things without my direction that they're supposed to be doing and I just reward them. I just say, come grab a Jolly Rancher. Jolly Ranchers, get you some. They're cheap and they work. I don't pass them out all day, but um, to reward my students quickly, that's what I do. And right now I'm not doing team points, which I usually do for tables um, because my students are doing state testing, so they're in like pods right now when usually it's like by team points. So I can't wait next week to rearrange my room and start doing team points again, table points. So I feel more refreshed today because Fridays are usually just more chill anyways. There's a fun Friday that we have. Um, students are actually at PE now and it's 2.15. Um, it's like our makeup PE since we had state testing this morning. Oh, I had my evaluation today. So basically, like I said, my evaluation was just going over how my year went, how my teaching went. Um, and then there was a rubric about like engagement and like collaboration, um, professionalism, just things like that. And they touched base on everything. It was a really good evaluation. It just felt really nice hearing positive, reaffirming things. And yeah, it was just a nice little conversation. It was really good. So I feel really happy about going into the weekend. And it's just gonna be a relaxed rest of the day. I'm about to go plan with my team teacher since we haven't done that in forever. Um, but I'll talk to you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this little week back in my life. It was so much fun filming. I thought I was gonna be stressed out, but it was really nice actually to just get to talk to the camera and like let my thoughts out as I'm feeling them um, and just gives me like an outlet. So thank you guys for letting me talk your ear off this whole video. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'm just excited to be back. I'm excited to get back into the routine of things and I'm so happy that you guys are here following along with me. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching. Bye!